Remember you guys, list price is unilateral, okay? Meaning that it's a one person offering. So when someone lists their home and you're thinking of selling your home and you think, oh my gosh, this one just listed for 800,000. What do you think? I mean, my house is better than that. Well, nobody really cares because no one's offered to buy it yet, right? <laughs>
typically six months of inventory is considered a balanced market, but I feel like that's not the case anymore. I want to say if you're sitting around four months of inventory, that's closer to a balanced market these days, just for whatever reason, however buyers and sellers are acting and where rates are at, it seems like four months is more balanced than six months anymore, but um, that's just something to consider. So right here, it's saying the median, which again, median means half or higher, half or lower, different than the average, which is when you add them up and then divide it by the number, right? So median is kind of the tipping point. Median right now in this North Phoenix zip code is 475. Now sold price is the closed price, not to be confused with the list price, which is what people are listing it at. Remember you guys, list price is unilateral, okay? Meaning that it's a one person offering. So when someone lists their home and you're thinking of selling your home and you think, oh my gosh, this one just listed for 800,000, what do you think? I mean, my house is better than that. Well, nobody really cares because no one has offered to buy it yet, right? We want to see what it has sold at, what it has closed at, because those are the real numbers, right? Because when you go under contract, you might be negotiating um, a huge credit for the buyer because maybe the home has a lot of problems that they were unaware of. And so it's actually not worth that price, right? You really want to look at closed data and so many people confuse these things. Again, so list price versus closed price or sold price are very different. Keep that in mind, okay? So active listings. Right now, the median asking price in 85032 is $530,000, okay? So um, now keep in mind what we just said was that the median sold price is four seventy five. dollars So you can see how homes are not necessarily closing at what uh, sellers are asking for them, okay? That's what's happening up in North Phoenix. Single family homes in 85283, they are saying it is definitely in a seller's market here, okay? So 2.3 months of inventory and it's taking 57 days to uh, get a contract and 515,000 is their medium close price, right? So more expensive than the North Phoenix area. Now let's take a look at the listings though. So the sellers are asking 5799 for the homes that are listed right now even though homes are closing around 515 so again this is just the median if you get a couple really big homes in a certain area it's going to throw off your data a bit and remember dollar per square foot is is kind of silly because you can have two homes both 2000 square feet one's from 1970 with the old you know shell sink and just not remodeled at all. And then you have one that's totally remodeled. They took out walls, you know, new AC units. They maybe they put in a pool, whatever. But if they're both 2000 square feet, they're not going to be worth the same dollar per square foot. So I went through appraising for like a year. And that was the number one thing they told me that appraisers just really dislike about agents is that they always go by dollar per square foot and they might have an awful home and think it's worth so much more. So that's just kind of a tip when you are looking at homes and thinking of pricing them. Okay, you guys, let's take a look at my favorite chart. It is the Cromford Report contract ratio heat map. Let's look at condos, townhomes, and single family residential throughout the valley between 300 and 400,000, which there is not a lot of options. So we're gonna see a lot of um, these warmer colors, right? This is a hot ratio, which means if you're a seller and you're selling something in 85257 in South Scottsdale, and it's between 300 and 400,000, you are going to have probably multiple offers. Same thing with 85281. Um, you're a little bit more balanced. 85282 is probably the most affordable area of Tempe, by the way. It's kind of that in between. This is more college. This is more families. And then right here, you guys, uh, what the F is what it has. And that's because this is a phenomenal part of Tempe. People love this part. Again, this is when you border the Chandler area, it's not going to be a whole lot. So Levine, obviously that right there. So these, you guys are where, because these are more affordable price points, it's going to be a little bit more of a frenzy, as you can see. Now let's kind of go to uh, the average home right now is pretty much between 400 and 600,000 for a single family home. So let's take a look. As you can see, the entire East Valley in that price point is pretty much on fire. Uh, frenzy, 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 frenzy. Uh, what is this? Hotter, frenzy, insane, frenzy, hot, hot, hot. What's this one? Hot, 
Uh, this guy down here, uh, balance is kind of like the Sun Lakes get into uh, Ocotillo area might be age restricted. So that can um, affect that data a little bit. But as you can see, if you're wanting to be centrally located in the East Valley for 400 to 600,000, it's a little bit harder, right, for you to get a deal. Let's take a look at Central Phoenix between 400 and 600,000, any kind of condo, townhome, or single family home. So this is more the Arcadia area, but if we get west of the 51, this will kind of tell you, and then you've got into Central, this is a very desirable area, very congested area, um, lots of traffic here, but it is a really cool place to live, work, and play. Definitely can tell you that much. And so you can see like hot, frenzy, hot, uh, let's see up here, hot. Now up here, you get into kind of sunny slope. This whole area in 85021 is being kind of redone and it is up and coming. So you can probably, if you can buy on the lower end here, I think that you're going to turn into a great investment for you eventually down the road because you can jump on the 17 and get up north to a lot of the tech hubs that are being built up there. Um, you're close to the airport and all of those kind of things. Now, uh, 85015, so this is hard. This is an interesting zip code because if you're closer to the east of it, these homes are gonna be more expensive, more um, a little bit nicer. And then if you get a little bit west of it, this area is still developing a little bit. But then over in here, you start to hit Grand Canyon University. A lot of this central area, you guys, can be spotty as far as crime statistics go, but there is um, so much enjoyment over here, the light rails over here. So because these areas are so hot, if you're looking to buy or sell in here and to the west of you is also hot, if everything around it's hot, it's only a matter of time till this heats up as well. So there's kind of a little look at the um, central Phoenix. And let's take a look on the west side. Okay, so now we're looking on the in the West Valley for four hundred to six hundred thousand dollar condos, townhomes, and single family homes. Litchfield Park, you can see, is very hot um, in that price range. Lots of people wanting to live there. This uh, Glendale, you're you know close to the stadium. All of those things. You know, um, this is El Mirage, right by Youngtown. Definitely lots of things happening there as far as redevelopment. And um, Waddell has a ton of new builds, okay? So um, that is, they're definitely going to have a lot under contract if they're listed in the MLS. Um, you know, new builds are offering great incentives right now. And then you've also got the um, more inner part of Surprise. And that, because it's a little bit closer to the center of the city, it also looks like a little bit hotter versus the west of the 303 is a little bit cooler to start to get a little bit further out there. So just um, keep in mind, if you're looking to buy west of the 303 in Surprise, you know, as a buyer, you'll probably get a better deal versus if you're looking east. So something to consider as well. And then again, if we're looking down here, um, you can see, like I had said before, Levine. Levine is very hot, you guys. So Levine, you can really get stuff that's built into the mountain. You can jump on the 10, get down to Tucson or Maricopa, where a lot of people seem to work who are moving in over here. Um, and again, Tolson, very, very hot. Now you've kind of got this South Phoenix area. Um, it's a little bit colder because this area is still being a little bit redeveloped. But I do see if you're an investor, this is a great area that I really think is going to be growing um, because everything around it is being developed. It's only a matter of time till this also is redeveloped. So let's take a quick look at the north part of town and then we'll finish up this video so, okay, again, we're in the 400 to 600,000. So um, right here, if you are looking in North Scottsdale, you know, it's showing a frenzy and that's because there's not a ton in that price range, right? Everything else is kind of showing balanced. Desert Ridge area though, going crazy. Um, definitely in a frenzy. Of course, people love, love, love that Desert Ridge area. And then you're kind of getting into the um, Central Phoenix, you know, Paradise Valley, of course, and not a lot of people, uh, not a lot of homes in that price range. Or if it is, it might be a teardown. So that's why it's kind of showing cold over there. Um, and these don't consider like HOA fees and all of that things too. So you might have a $400,000 condo, you know, in Paradise Valley, but your HOA fees might be, you know, 800 a month or something. So that could be why some of these might be sitting, things like that. So, so you guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick update on what's happening in the Phoenix housing market for spring of 2024. I will be back with more. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share this out with anyone. My goal is always to give accurate and relevant data. So anyone watching, whether you're my client, whether you're just an interested 
you know, bystander or whether you just like looking at data. I want you guys to feel really prepared and I really take pride um, in, in what I do and, and the things that I share. So anyhow, feel free to reach out to me with any questions. I love talking the market with you guys and I will see you on my next video. Thank you. Leave my eyes in the sky.